Yo, what's up, guys? So, earlier today I got stuck at the dealership because I uh, pulled a battery out of my 2012 E92 BMW to replace it. And like a dummy, when I pulled the battery out of the car, I shut the trunk and locked myself out of the car. So after a whole big ordeal, I got the car back home. And uh, what I did was I popped the lights for the license plate and I, po I popped the uh, trunk actuator button, whatever you called it thing but uh, I went ahead and popped it and I was able to kind of sneak my hands in there and pull the uh, trunk release for the emergency release that's inside the trunk that's how I ended up getting in there ultimately um, but a lot of people were like hey you should have just jumped the car um, I did try that at the dealership and uh, with one of their jump boxes and it just didn't work uh, but a lot of people insist that it should work, and I'm curious as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a couple different things and see if maybe we can get it to work. Um, what I plan on doing is unplugging the battery in a couple different ways, like the ground first, and then maybe the power, and then just everything all together. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I figure that... The easiest way to show you guys how to do that or how I'm going to conduct this experiment, if you will, is, I don't know, just to wing it. Um, I am going to use my, one of my favorite beers, Dogfish IPA, for this experiment, a battery charger, and the battery that comes on the car. So, I don't know. Let's see if we can learn something. All right, so first thing I did was undo the negative cable on the battery. And um, I did plug in my Harbor Freight smart charger. And I knew this thing wasn't going to work. Obviously, it doesn't because this thing has to be plugged into a battery for it to provide any kind of power. Um, I do have it plugged in up there. Will not provide any power until it's physically plugged into a battery. So we're going to need more reliable uh a more reliable power source all right y'all so this looks promising using my handy dandy hatchback here and my super long yes they're super long jumper cables I love these things I've had them forever um, and right away I could tell this is gonna work because all the lights came on so again the battery all I have is the negative cable on the battery hooked up, but check it out, the light lit up. So now we're gonna shut the trunk. I'm gonna push the button. Success. So let's figure out what happens when we unplug the battery all together. All right guys, so this is interesting. Um, the only difference between now and when I shut the trunk is that that battery was out of the trunk. It's fully disconnected and to clarify what I mean by fully disconnected, this wire bolts in right there. I had unbolted it out so that I can kind of swing this to the side to make it easier to pull the battery. This is not plugged in as well as whatever the other one is. There's another uh, black one that looks very similar to it. I can't find it right now, but it's somewhere in there. Um, one plugs in here, the other one plugs in there. I went ahead and undid, oh, there we go, this guy right here. Um, that guy plugs in right here, and the blue one plugs in right there. So aside from the battery physically being out of the vehicle, this is exactly how I got stuck. Um, and I can tell already that this is not gonna work because I got my handy dandy Civic hatchback over here plugged in and the car is completely dead. So watch this. This is what I did. Shut the trunk. Well, bam, right? Went over here. 
dead. Completely dead. There it is, guys. That's how you get locked out of your trunk in a 2012 BMW. Even if you have reliable voltage, simply won't do it. So now, let's try to figure out at what point you get reliable voltage. I don't know, see if this works. Well, fellas and ladies, whoever's watching, we have an answer. This cable right here, I'm assuming that's the one that actually goes back to the front of the vehicle. And uh, as soon as I plugged it in, my lights came on. So pretty safe to assume that as long as you keep this cable plugged in, you're not gonna get yourself locked out of the car. Because as you can see, I got my jumper cables hooked up. Same way we had them before. I'm gonna shut the trunk. Look at that. There you have it, fellas and ladies. That's what happened. I unplugged this cable right here. I know it may not be 100% necessary, but I just figured it was easier to get to, to get the battery out. And uh, that's what locked me out of the car. Well, interesting to learn these kind of things. Hopefully you guys learned something as well. I know I did. Thanks for watching this video.